Hey guys, I recently made a video about the LG C1's SDR game mode pre-calibration accuracy. I measured the color accuracy, the grayscale accuracy using Kalman, and I found with my results that it was highly, highly inaccurate in SDR game mode. So some people in the comment section said, well, I'm sure HDR game mode is more accurate and nobody really cares about SDR, right? With this TV, all they care about is HDR. Well, let's put that to the test and let's check the pre-calibration accuracy of HDR game mode on the LG C1. All right, now a couple things first before we show you the results of the pre-calibration accuracy of HDR game mode. I wanna show you what I did real quick with the LG C1. I put it entirely in default mode. So we're in HDR, see HDR select mode game optimizer. So we go down here to advanced settings and just to show you that this is out of the box factory default, we're gonna reset the picture entirely. Uh, all current settings for game optimizer user mode will be reset. Do you want to continue? Yes. So these are the stock out of the box HDR game mode settings. And we're gonna test these settings with Kalman right now. All right, well, here you go, kids. This is the pre-calibration accuracy of game mode HDR for the LG C1. So this is the picture settings at default directly out of the box without you changing anything as the user. So you see here, this is the color accuracy. Obviously all the dots, you want them inside the boxes to have accurate color. You see up here, greens uh, and orange aren't too bad, but then when you start getting into the reds, purples, and especially the blues, they're just all over the place. You're getting too much blue and you should be getting lighter shades you're getting not dark enough reds, you're all over the place. And you look at your delta error down here for your color, your average error is 5.7, your max error is 17.7. And if you want a reference level monitor or TV display, you would have to have an average error with color here of one or under, and again, 5.7 with max 17.7. And so you look at your RGB balance here, it's all over the place, it's pushing way too much blue, again, uh, especially in the higher end. And then you look at your grayscale delta error, again you want ideally something below 5, but even better would be below 3, reference level would be 1. Your average grayscale error is 10.9, your max error is 17.7. So not only are you not even remotely close to reference level accuracy, but you aren't even close to an average error of below three, which would be considered good for both grayscale and color, especially grayscale. And then you look at your luminance over here, our LG C1 in HDR game mode is got a max luminance. It's measuring at about 750 or so nits. And ideally you want your gray line, which is your TV's current luminance level, to follow this luminance curve. And you see here it overshoots it a little bit uh, at around 200 to 500 nits, and then it rolls off at about 750 nits. So that could certainly be more accurate as well. So there it is, guys. Um, <laughs> you can see it right here. The LG C1 HDR game mode default picture settings right out of the box are horribly inaccurate. Now there are quick ways that you can improve this without having calibration equipment. So if you don't have an X1 light meter or you don't have the Kalman software like this, there are ways to quickly improve your grayscale accuracy and your color. And the best way to do that would be to turn your color down from 55 in the LG C1 picture settings to 50 and then turn your warmth all the way up to 50 in your LG C1 picture settings and that should improve your color performance and your grayscale performance. Uh, it's still not gonna be reference level, but your average error with color would probably be more like three and a half to four, and your average grayscale performance error would probably be closer to around six or seven, so certainly better. So I would recommend you do that if you don't have calibration equipment. Anyway guys, if you have questions, thoughts, please post them down below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and share if you would like to. And until next time guys, we'll see you later.